Hey guys, uh, so this is the third video of the Placement Audition series. Um, I'm going to go over the cello uh, excerpt from Momentum. Remember, this is required for both symphonic and chamber auditions. Um, just be mindful that when I'm playing this one here, I'm playing it on, on a viola. So it has the same strings, but in terms of fingering and shifting, it's going to be just a little bit different. So I'll start by playing the excerpt in its entirety. Um, remember in this section, this is the slower section of the piece, so it's not going to be the same tempo or the same pulse as the other ones like are at the beginning. So here is the cello momentum excerpt. So that's the excerpt. So I want to go over a few things. This excerpt here, well, the biggest thing I'm listening for is can you connect and not stop the bow? Um, especially throughout both ensembles, concert and symphonic, that's one of the things I definitely hear is something we need to work on. So that's going to be one of the things I'm here well, listening for is between notes, are you not stopping the bow? So instead of playing like this, are you connecting, not stopping and moving your wrist? Within that first part, uh, that first part of the excerpt between 105 to 109, a um, couple different things I'm listening for. First thing, on these longer notes, can you add some vibrato? That's one of the things we're working on right now, especially on that second note. This note here, for violas, we can use a fourth finger, but you guys have to shift into either fourth or third position. So you can play the play with a three, 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 one, one, or you can go one and then shift all the way to one. Your choice to how you want to do that E, it just needs to be in position. Make sure at 107, you're playing a C natural. That's going to be second finger, not third finger. And uh, measure 108, you have a crescendo. Um, I want to isolate the rhythm though at 106, 107. So, and the rhythm and also the bowing. The bowing is going to be one and and three and and one and and three and and in terms of your bowing down up up down up up down up up down up up or another way in terms of shorts and longs short long short short long short short long short short long short um and also some piano so it should probably be in the middle to the upper half of the bow here so those are a few things. So once again, to recap, at the beginning, connect your bow, vibrato, rhythm, and bowing, smooth bow is done. Now here, 109, you have a lot of string crossing. So you have to make sure that each one, you're not stopped. It's not, but a fluid motion. And you do a bow lift, it's always set back on the string, never come from a, from off the string. So 109, set. That second to last note is a G sharp, so make sure you're playing an extension or a different fingering pattern. The G sharp, just lift the bow. So those three, um, off the, on that top note, the D, the B, and D, same idea, so string crossing, smooth, then also for this part, playing it nice, uh, adding some vibrato to that note. Um, let's look at measure 1, 12, and isolate some of that. So the first two notes, another G sharp, so that, that's an extension. The last two notes, you have to shift into fourth position. That's going to be the best fingering, so that E is going to be a 1, I'm playing it the two on viola, F sharp three, then that G, 
four. So there, the, that shift in the fourth position is like the top of a two octave G major scale. So shift. And definitely on those whole notes, at 113 and 114, I'm definitely looking for you guys to have some vibrato on those half notes. Remember, and just anything that you can give me, right? Remember, the motion is a back and forth motion. That's how you vibrato on the cello. Um, so I'm gonna play the excerpt one more time, uh, the whole thing, and I think that'll do it. So here's your momentum excerpt, and it's, it's in its entirety. your excerpt for momentum. Um, later on I'll post your Brandenburg excerpt um, but that should hopefully get you some get through some things. Um, if as always if you want to send me your recording I can give you direct feedback and what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing to help improve for your placement audition. So hopefully that helps. All right see you guys later.